Uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I. All right. I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, killed by the woke mind virus. So this is why Elon Musk is a conservative now. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. You already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Elon Musk was interviewed by Jordan Peterson. I, I love Jordan Peterson's intellect. Sometimes it's hard to listen to him and seem like he's crying all the time. But I think he's a great guy. Now, let me just, with that aside, I think Elon Musk exposed on his show for the first time that I've ever heard him say this, the reason why I think he's going so hard and going against the left. The reason why he bought Twitter, the reason why he's supporting Trump, the reason why it seems as if he's conservative now on social media, and it's because this crazy incident that happened with his own child. Sometimes it takes personal stories and things to happen to you specifically for you to wake up and say, you know what, enough is enough. They're going way too far. Listen to it. Wrote a clip. It happened to one of my, my older boys um, uh, where I was... Um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this is before I had really any understanding of what was going on. And we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know. Xavier might commit suicide if, if he that was a That was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil. And I agree with you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so I was, I was tricked into doing this. Um, and uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, and there's lots okay. of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah, so, well, that's a, good, that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right, so let's... So let, I vowed to destroy the, mind, the woke mind virus after that. And we're making some progress. <laughs> he needs to... I don't know why everything he says sounds epic. You put some music behind that, that's epic. And that's what it is, the woke, the woke mind virus. It, it's, it's destroying people. It's crazy to me. It, 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 it inevitably ended up getting a kid to climb up on a building and try to shoot Donald Trump. For no reason, the guy is just a regular guy trying to save America. Like, really? The interview continues. Join the club. Yeah. What do you think of Trump? Well, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I, I don't sort of subscribe to cult of personality. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's really just, um, you know, we've got a choice of administrations and we, we have to pick one. Yeah. Um, I think probably the Democratic Party was the party of uh, meritocracy and, and, and of personal freedom. Yeah. Um, they used to be the free speech party. Yeah. Uh, and and these days they, they they seem to be the censorship party, under the guise of hate speech. Yeah. Um, so uh, so weirdly the in my view the Republican Party is actually the party of that that's the, the meritocracy party because uh, you know the, the Democrats are also promoting DEI which is really just um, another form of racism and sexism. Um, it's the most pernicious form I think actually. R right. So it's anti meritocratic. DEI is fun fundamentally anti meritocratic. The uh, Republican Party um, is more in line with uh, 
a meritocracy yeah. and with personal freedom. I, I think there's, there's something to be said that, you know, America needs a strong leader and where, the, where you have the perception of strength. Um, yeah. Now, um, you, you have to admire that, you know, Trump, after getting shot um, yeah. with blood streaming down his face, it could have been a second shooter, who knows, um, nonetheless, uh, you know, was, was like fist pumping, fight, fight. Yeah. Um, after being shot. Yeah. I mean, and this is not... He's an ornery the, the, bastard. He, the, he's funny, too. Yes. I and mean, he's brave. He has yep. courage. Um, this is you, this is instinctual courage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not calculated. It's yeah, not some, right. ash, some arranged event. It's in the moment. Well, you could see that then. Because that was not a time when you're you going to... You see true courage in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, um, and if, if you want a leader who's going to deal with some very very tough cookies out there um, who's going to, you know, deal with, uh, with a Putin or a Kim, yep. Kim, Jong, Kim Jong-un or, you know... Uh, China. Yeah, China. Or, um, and uh, they, they, will be in, they will be... They'll think twice about messing with Trump. Yeah. They'll think twice. Okay, okay. Um, can, and, can, and, and poor, poor Biden can't make it up the stairs. And obviously he's, he's stepped out of the race. But it's, nobody's going to be intimidated by, by Biden. It's, it's impossible. Um, but so, but intim, I think they will be intimidated by a guy who was fist pumping after getting shot. It happened. <laughs> Which I agree with him a thousand percent. I, you know, Elon Musk is probably a very hard person to interview. I think only Joe Rogan can interview him well because he has a lot of gaps and pauses and he takes time to think about what he said or he's confused about what he want to say. So therefore, there's pauses in between. And people like Jordan Peterson... People like myself and others like the conversation to keep going because our brain is firing like this. And so if you pause for a minute, we feel that it's time to interject. And I think that's very hard to interview Elon Musk because he does have a lot of uh, profound things to say. And I think he have important things to say, but it just takes him time to, to kind of get through the gaps and process what he's saying and then articulate it. Um, he's probably more of a person that can write better than he can speak. That's just my opinion. I'm not a freaking human behavioral scientist or something like that, but it's just what I've observed. But I think that what he said is genuine. I think that what he said is the reason why a lot of people are going over to the Republican Party. Not because the Republicans are so great, it's because the Democrats are so bad. And I think Donald Trump is a a key to success when it comes to that. When, when I say success, I mean success in getting policies put into place that helps our country and helps everybody here not just the country as a whole on a world stage, but individual states within the country and help them flourish and prosper and for us to get to a, a good place as, as a country, as America, not only with race relations and all the other stuff. I think that if they unobstructed, Trump would do an incredible job with America. I think he can heal the racial gap in this country. But they're going to try to build up this false sense of he's a racist and misogynist and all this other stuff that don't exist. They're dividing. I think Trump can bring it together. But I, I really respect Elon Musk, and I'll end it with this. Elon Musk, in my opinion, is a hero. And the reason why he's a hero because he's put, he put his money where his mouth and his beliefs are. There is no Republican, no conservative, even those who are just as rich as Elon Musk, or at least close to being as rich as Elon Musk, i.e. billionaires, None of them put their money together, put single, single-handedly uses their money that I know of to buy a platform. Instead, they use their money and resources to create their own platform to make their own money, and therefore we it's 100 echo chambers instead of trying to get something that can actually make an incredible difference. So shout-out to Elon Musk. Shout-out to him having the boldness and courage to actually say he support Donald Trump when he has the biggest electric car company in the world and the guy has a lot to lose, but he don't care. He has, he's firm in his beliefs. With advertisers, with his faith in what he does, or whatever the case may be, that's where he stands out at. Anyway, I gotta get about here. I'll see you guys later. I'm out. <laughs>